Hey, what's up, guys? Jake from VFX Edits here, and today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how to make a Cinema 4D logo like you see right here. Uh, pretty simple tutorial, uh, just Cinema 4D. You can use Illustrator, but uh, I will just be doing it in C4D. I can show you how to do that later if you guys want me to. Uh, before I start, I just want to apologize for not being uh, posting lately, and I know I kind of said to start every, every video, but my parents took away my computer, so I really didn't have an option here. But I'll be getting it back tomorrow, but I have Relay for Life, which is some cancer thing. Um, so I won't be able to do that over the weekend. But uh, I'll, I'll be posting more regularly uh, next week. So go ahead and go to the light thing. You see this little expansion thing. Hold that down and then go to camera. Press that little box there. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to like drag it around, which makes it makes life much easier. Uh, now while you're still highlighted on camera, set the rotation to 0, 0, 0. And what that's going to do is it's going to give it a straight on shot on your little modeling axis template thing. Go ahead and go to this like cube logo, hold it down and go to tube. And what it's gonna do is kinda put the this kind of tube looking thing here. So go ahead and drag it up maybe like three fourths of your screen. And once it's there, go ahead and rotate on the red axis here, uh, to about ninety degree. If you want to make it exact, um, to make it exact, go down to P and then press in ninety. Go ahead and rescale it so that that's right about in the center. Now, uh, click on tube again, and what it's going to do is it'll allow you to like um, maneuver your radiuses. So you're going to make the inner radius right about, so it's a nice little ring. I'll say 170 looks about good. All right. So now we have a ring. Now to make the text, go to MoGraph, hold that down, and go to Mo Text. And what that's going to do is just add a text. Uh, I'll just change the font real quick. The font I always use for pretty much everything is Babis, just because I like Babis a lot. It's a very nice font. You can get it off dofont.com. Uh, now go to your tube, and you're going to see what the height is. The height is 100 meters, which it means it is 100 meters uh, deep, like you see, uh, 100 centimeters deep, like you see here in the model. So to make it look about nice, go to the text and put your depth to 50, so it looks like about half. Actually, you know what? Let's do about 75. Maybe that, I mean, that'll be a little bit nicer. All right. So now you edit your text. Go ahead and write in what you want. I'll just do, I don't know, VFX. Actually, it's going to be, uh, I recommend, well, I mean, I guess you can do it. I recommend not going above three letters. Just do like a two or three thing. Uh, for a clan, most clans just have like, uh, I don't know, like phase. It'll be like F or optic. It's O, uh, OG. I think it's, it's optic gaming. And like third eye or whatever. Most most clans only have uh, three, so two or three, so it doesn't matter. Or one. But uh, now you're just going to change like uh, your model axis by doing this like little rotation thing here. So you can just see a better ang uh, angle of the camera. Go ahead and kind of move that blue line, which is the uh, Z-axis or Z-axis. And make sure it's about center. You can see the little uh, like orange lines there to make sure. To uh, like get an idea of where stuff is, basically. I don't know. Not a very good tutorial person, but I guess it'll come with time. Go ahead and scale this down. So... Uh, just barely cut off. You don't want it like whole like chunks of the text missing. So it looks about good. Uh, chances are that you'll have to drag yours around a little bit, but uh, mine actually looks really nice just like that. So now what we're gonna do is add some rotation. Go ahead and go like over your camera over a little bit, and uh, on your VFX thing, get this blue modeling rotation thing and put it to maybe about six, negative six, and that adds a nice little slant and adds some character the text into the logo itself. Go ahead and scale this up so that everything is touching. And there we go. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm just rushing for a tutorial. Obviously, you make it a little bit better, make sure it's not as much is missing. But just for the meantime, that looks pretty good. All right, now what you're going to do uh, is make the colors and that kind of stuff. I'm going to use blue and white, but you can use whatever color you want. So go down to materials and go to file, new material, make two. Let's make two new materials. Uh, uncheck specular for both of them. There we go. All right, and then for color, I'm gonna do a nice blue and white. So just go around, find a color that you want. I'm gonna use blue, and I'm gonna use 46, 120, 244, 224. My bad. So if that you want to do it, uh, that's what I'm doing. Then go ahead and uh, add some reflection here. Put the reflection to 50, and the blurriness to five. If you want to get really fancy. You can put the texture as Fresnel, and there it will give a little bit of a dampening thing. Here I will do front transparency here, 
I'm just going to add a little bit more character. You don't need to do that. I'm just doing it because I'm going to make it want to make it look a little bit nicer. For the, so the second one, you can do whatever color. I recommend blue and white or these good contrast contrast colors. I wouldn't do like a blue and a blue. Probably like a blue and a red or a blue and a white looks good. So go full white. Uh, Specular is already on check. Go to reflection. Go to 50. 5 here. You can leave it like that or you can do the Fresnel like I showed. And go to texture, Fresnel, and then go front trans. And what that's going to do is just going to add a little bit of blackening so it adds a little bit better shadows and yeah so now you can just uh, move your camera around try to get all of it consumed all of it in the layer rather well the camera actually in uh, after effects mode now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a light right about in the center of the F change your camera angle and just set it back just a little bit so that it's really only illuminating the text and the front a little bit and I want to get a little bit actually more metallic feel for the white trans so for when it says reflection put the brightness to 75 that will get a more metallic feel than just a kind of like reflective feel go ahead and fix your camera so it's zero 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 and now to make it look really nice we're gonna click on the render settings uh, put the save as PNG Make sure you click Alpha Channel, otherwise uh, you'll have the black background on the back. Save it as whatever you want. I'm going to save mine as Test. Uh, go down to Effect, and then go to Global, global Elimination. Global Elimination! Jeez, I can't talk. And it's going to make a nice, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it. Bitmap, I think it is the word. But it's going to make a better, uh, nicer, cleaner image. And then go to Output. Make sure your width is 1280 by 720. Uh, so that's that nice HD. 16.9 format that is so used everywhere. You can use whatever you want, but I recommend uh, 1280 by 720. Now I'm just gonna quick check that out with the render, and we shall see what it looks like. So I'll be doing tutorials more often, guys. If you uh, like these GFX tutorials, I keep doing it. I haven't really done an editing tutorial. I've done one on the CC t CC grid wipe transition, but you never know, I might get inspired and I might do, you know, some more tutorials. Alright, so there you go, it's uh, kind of rushed and it's kind of misplaced, but uh, you can see what it will come out if you take your time. It'll come out like uh, this one right here. Here I have this for graphics here. So, it'll come out like that, looks really nice. You can mess with the lighting, you can maybe add another light like down in the corner, like I did to make it a little bit more character and a little bit more original uh, lighting and really just mess around guys so if this tutorial was helpful in any which way shape or form go ahead and leave a like it really supports me if you like tutorials you like edits you like GFX you like speed arts that kind of stuff go ahead and subscribe I upload probably about once a week but I'll probably be doing two a week now uh, starting next week when I get my laptop back and I can actually post I do edits uh, for people, so if you're someone that needs an edit, uh, I'm not editing for anybody right now, I'm already editing for a clan, and I'm way, way behind on something I haven't been able to, like, be on lately, so, uh, before telling you, like, my personal problems or whatever, that's my commentary channel, that's where I complain about everything, uh, so just make sure to subscribe, if it's really helpful, go ahead and favorite it, uh, like the video, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, I will see you guys later.